Man, idolatry is running rampant in the industry right now. You hear me? And forget the industry in the world right now, bro. People turning political candidates into idols. You hear me? People turning their favorite rappers into idols. People turning anybody with money into idols. You know what I'm saying? Like, no matter what somebody has down here, they fall way short when you compare them to Jesus. Mm. And when you be like, all right, so who doper? This person that's a millionaire or this person that just supersedes anything money could ever buy? You know what I'm saying? Who doper? This person who just went platinum or this person who, like, platinum, man, you can't even compare. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what they say, you can't compete when you, or you can't compare when you can't compete. You know what I'm saying? So that's the problem is it's showing me that people are becoming addicted to this world because when you become addicted to what's down here and you become too infatuated with it, you can start to idolize things of this world and mm. people of this world, right. you know? Um, and, bro, let alone these political candidates who people just blindly follow behind, you mm. know? That's something that, that's a relevant topic right now because we actually, you know, we're we in an election season and we see how divisive it is. And at the end of the day, I do believe in... Uh, our power to vote. I really do, brother. Like, our ancestors and just many great people uh, fought for us all to have the right to be able to vote. And if we want to be responsible citizens, you know, in the Bible, like, it doesn't specifically speak about voting, but being a responsible citizen, you know what I mean? Um, rendering Caesar what he's due and just all that. I feel like voting is something that, that falls in that mix. Because if you don't vote, then you better not complain about nothing that's going on uh, that <laughs> politicians have to do with. You right. feel me? But with that being said, let's not let who... Because regardless of who wins the election, the local election, the state election, the national election, we still are all called to love each other the day after the election. Mm. We still are called to pray for our political leaders mm. right after that election. So don't turn... None of them, even the one you voting for, into an idol, and don't turn the one you not voting for into an op. You heard me? Because at the end of the day, as believers, we still all called to love these people, pray for these people, and coexist with these people. Mm. 